Yes, I'm fine. All right. Mm, you don't turn on your camera? Not right this second, no. Oh. All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Um, for some reason. <laughs> And I don't know why, for some reason, today the YouTube is not, um, is not, we do the YouTube live, which is really weird. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. Nope. For some reason, it is not working. And I don't know why. So, um, Okay, so let's get started. Uh, for some of you, this might be a new class. Some of you uh, have probably been on here before. Uh, we, uh, let's see, let me do one more thing before we get talking. Let me see here. No, I've got to. I've got to start doing stuff a little bit differently. I had everything set up for the uh, for the YouTube live, but it's um, not quite working. So let's see here. Sorry guys, uh, I'm just trying to move a video over from, um, somewhere else. Okay, hold on just one second guys, I'm sorry. Uh, Toto, is there anybody that is wanting to present today? Um, today actually, Lam Lams and Tom want to present. Oh, they do. Okay, good. Okay, sweet. All right. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're all set up. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the, with the uh, YouTube live today, guys. So um, that is, that is, uh, that is fine. Uh, so we have some people on today that would like to present. So what I would like to do is very quickly, uh, once again, for anybody who's new, um, this is the IEG travel group. We try to have a meeting at least once a week. Um, what I, what I want people to know is that, you know, if you're part of IEG or if you're not part of IEG, that doesn't really matter. Uh, we want anybody in everybody to be <clears throat> part of the IEG group. What we would love is that, you know, as the site goes live and the apps come out um, and people start searching for travel groups and travel things like that, we want to be the premier group on WebTalk. So we've started a group. Uh, there's over a hundred, I would say, uh, participants that are posting things and um, talking about different places getting on these lives and, and talking about different places that they would like to visit or that they know of that they that they love and enjoy um when you do post something about a country a place or you know whatever that may be in web talk please use the um hashtag ieg travel so that we keep connected with that so that when people start searching they can look at it also I would say hashtag the city or the country or what state, whatever that, that you're, that you're posting about hashtag that name, maybe even hashtag, um, a name of a, of a hotel or, 
uh, airline, things like that, so that when people start searching in WebTalk, they're going to be brought to this group. Um, they'll see what this group is doing. Uh, the other part is, if you're part of IEG and you are a student, you know that uh, you get on, you support your teachers, you, you interact, you do all that. Well, we're going to use that same concept for uh, the IEG travel group in that what we will do is we will uh, interact with each other, start generating revenue within our group. So our group is going to be very focused on if we want to go on a trip, we're going to see how much it's going to cost for each person, and then we'll start supporting each other and developing um, revenue that way. Another thing that, that is going on is we're starting to get uh, companies that have advertising, advertisements, and um, you know, they, they will be kind of supporting um, the IEG travel group, not with money, but supporting them in different ways. So um, let's say a business um, wants to promote their business. Last week we promoted a, uh, a hotel. And if we go and travel, then you know, we may stay at that hotel because that hotel has been advertising. We know who that, who that person is and who um, runs that hotel. Uh, real quickly, we're going to watch another video of an advertisement of a logistics company that is part of IEG. Um, they are supporting the, the teachers. And so in their support of supporting the teachers and bringing in new members that are, that are creating revenue, um, we will, uh, show their video here and then I'll show you a video at the end um, of this meeting as well. So before everybody starts presenting, um, I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to show you a quick video of another company that is part of the IEG network. So let's do that one more time. All right, everybody should be able to see the screen. Is that correct? Just nod your head. All right, here we go. Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited was founded in 1990 by Mr. Wilfred Kang and his wife, Walapasati Rashawan. During the past two decades, we recognized the need to expand our services to meet customers' requirements and have diversified our strengths into six subsidiary companies with a total of 320 staff. We stand out from the crowd by improving our service quality continuously to meet customers' satisfaction with timely, safe, and reliable service. Eagles aims to develop and promote ethics, technical know-how, and good governance among our staff. We endeavor to comply to our customers' requirements to our fullest ability, setting a high benchmark for others to follow. Information technology plays an important role towards our success, which is why we innovate and develop our own warehouse management software, enabling us to customize solutions for each different customer. Ensuring we keep up with our quality standards, Eagles conducts its own in-house training regularly across the whole organization. This is consistently proven with the ISO and quality awards received from various industries and customers. Besides international air and sea freight services, Eagles is actively involved with cross-border truck services, delivering time-critical shipments to neighboring countries with its own fleet of trucks. This strategic move serves as better leverage for Eagles to affirm herself and her free zone facilities to be the hub of AEC, ASEAN Economic Community. 
in addition to being one of the few privileged licensed customs broker. Eagles was accredited with authorized economic operator license in 2014. Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited is centrally located with five offices in Bangkok. With the strategic geography of Thailand, Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited is ready to answer to the government policy of transforming Thailand into a logistical hub in the region with our various services, such as air and sea freight services, integrated logistics services, licensed customs brokerage, consolidation services, domestic cross-border trucking, pick and pack, house, office, moving, warehouse management, trading, buying agent, insurance, project cargoes, freight chartering, transshipment services, courier services. With our excellent ability to transport various goods, Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited has won the trust of customers, both domestically and internationally, to carry out specialized goods, such as oversized machineries, live animals, automobiles, clinical trial pharmaceutical products, and time-sensitive AOGs. Eagles Integrated Logistics Company Limited was set up primarily to serve customers requiring the need of a professional warehousing and distribution solution. Eagles Integrated Logistics currently operates two free zone warehouses at IEAT Lat Gabang and Sawanapum International Airport with an in-depth knowledge on the free zone benefits for the customers. We are able to assist customers seeking an alternate, leaner, and effective supply chain solution. Adding on to our facilities, a general warehouse was set up in 2011 and serves as a distribution center for various business verticals, such as home furnishing items, food and beverage products, as well as electronic items. Coupled with Eagle's very own customizable WMS, customers can access inventory stock levels in real time. Kang Transport Company Limited manages our own fleet of trucks, having our own trucks and trailers four-wheelers and six-wheelers. All our vehicles are monitored with GPS, delivering time-critical shipments even to neighboring countries such as Malaysia, Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia. One World GSA Company Limited is currently representing Tiger Air Taiwan and Tiger Air Singapore as the general sales agent. Being the GSA, One World GSA is wholly responsible for the cargo revenue profitability for the airline. With 180 flights a month, our team's supervision of each flight is able to provide a high load KPI, even with a short flight turnaround time. Global Logistics Myanmar was started in 2013 in line with our expansion plans in the ASEAN economic community. Extending our reach into Myanmar allowed us to provide a more streamlined service, supporting our services through air, sea, and cross-border trucking. The Nest Service Department was established as a hospitality division located in the heart of Thailand's wholesale garment center. 
to provide customers a clean, comfortable, and service-oriented place to stay. Next phase of Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited. Eagles have always been a market leader in providing services and consultation of free zone solution to customers and pioneering various process optimization of reduce, reuse, and recycle concepts. Free Zone Hub Solution. Overseas companies can order shipment through Eagles within Free Zone Hub to reduce costs, maximizing tax benefits, and as a staging hub toward ASEAN countries. Overseas companies can order shipment through Eagles within the Free Zone Hub, which will serve both domestic and international destinations improving profitability and effectiveness. Eagle's Free Zone Hub will manage custom duties to ensure smooth transition of goods domestically, which are entitled to taxes, tariffs, and location at the transition date. We are determined to anticipate and improve our service standards continually in response to our customers' needs. Eagles Air and Sea Thailand Company Limited will always be ready to stand by your side as your logistics partner. All right, so. Um if you want, uh, I think I think you guys should be able to unmute yourselves. If not, just uh, raise your hand. Does anybody have any idea why this would be a great company to be kind of in the network of of IEG? Um, I have a question, but it's yes. not related with your question. That what is have seen the. I have seen uh, the plant and I have seen two words that boy and act. What does it mean? Um, hold on a second. Who's to, oh, I Tom, can have message Tom, you're, you? Tom, you're talking, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So what was your question again? Sorry. <clears throat> mm, I have seen the I have seen the eagles plant that I have seen two words. Uh, boy and act does it mean um can you uh, which two words i will send you a message hold on okay yeah you should be able to send me a i think the chat should be on let's see yeah the chat should be on oh b o i and a c t a c t s um Quite honestly, I don't know. Um, I would say that those are probably uh, acronym words. I'd have to look at the video again to, to actually listen for that exact word. Um, but yeah, BOY is probably um, just an acronym. And what an acronym is, is just using the first letter of, you know, like it says BOI. So that would be uh, three words, but the, the beginning letters would be B, O, and I. <clears throat> so um, what that what that probably is is just like one of their like probably technical words that they say so probably um, you know how they interact with other countries or how they how they ship um, their their materials but I don't I honestly don't know exactly what those are I'd have to I'd have to listen to it again um, what I would do is I, I can listen to it again when the uh, um, when this meeting is over and then when I hear it, <clears throat> I will, um, put it in the, in a comment, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I will put in the comment, um, of, of this post. Okay. Um, so does anybody kind of, uh, uh want to say why they think that this would be a great company to have involved in web talk? If you cannot unmute yourself, just raise your hand and I will unmute you. I think you should be able to unmute yourself because Tom did. I 
Actually, I see that um, Eagle Company is a ship uh, company, and um, but I have no idea about um, what is this involved with IEG Travel and our group because you you know maybe it will ship the food or if we have the company in. Um, if anyone in our group have a company or have a business and then we can uh, contact with this company and then we can uh, work together. Okay, good. Anybody else? Have any idea why this would be a great company to have in WebDoc? Um, all right. Well, if, if nobody wants to answer that, that's fine. Um, if people are just listening, that's great. Here's the thing, guys. It really doesn't have anything to do with travel, does it? It's not a hotel. It's not, um, you know, anything that, that, hold on a second. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I'm having, I'm having some serious difficulties today with this computer. I don't know why. It just kind of blanked out for a second. Um, so this company really doesn't have, uh, you know, really anything to do with, um, with uh, you know, a travel business. Is, is, it a, is it a hotel? No, it's nothing like that. But what it does do is think about this, guys. If we get companies like this, massive companies like this, and they're interacting and they're doing things within WebTalk and they're in our group or in uh, connected to somebody who is part of the travel group, think of all the revenue that this company is going to generate. And that's, the, that's exactly what we want. We want interaction. We want companies of all sorts. It doesn't have to be just a travel company. This is a logistics company. They ship things. Will we ship things? Probably not. But like Toto said, maybe your business needs someone to, you know, do your shipping to other countries. Then you might be able to connect with them. And that would be helpful. You could say, hey, I saw you on WebTalk, you know, uh, what what can you do for me? So yeah, um, part of that is that that the different companies could do that, but ultimately we just want major companies to bring in major people so that they're starting to generate even more revenue for for our you know the people that are in our group. Okay, so um, understand that that any company that wants to be part of you know anything, we will support that. And um, so if you have businesses or companies that you think would be um, able, would want to, you know, get advertisement and stuff like that, that's what we would do. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a couple people do come um, some presentations of some places that they either like or uh, just would like to visit or want to just talk about. And then at the end, I'm going to actually show one more video of, uh, of another business. Okay. So Tom, um, I know that you, you're wanting to present something today. Is that correct? Yes, I want to correct some okay. presentation about the World Coffee Museum. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to make you the co-host so that you can share your screen. All right. So you go ahead and uh, share your screen and you can start telling us uh, giving us some information. That'd be awesome. Uh, all right. And this place so, do you know who this is called the Central Highland and the Bumazo City can call the capital of coffee. <clears throat> and that is the place I was born and I grow it in here and this this city have a lot of signature coffee tea shop that you should visit once in your life like like uh, like uh, like Mexico paradise mm, show you the Mexico paradise now uh, can you see that 
that is the one escape uh, only. Not Info yet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so he's sharing his screen. Let's listen to what he has to say. Go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, and it's placed in one one hundred and and fifty nine and fifty nine cross string uh, district in Bozo City. It's have lost space in last in cool stage and it also have a lot of kind of coffee that you can choose if you want. And this then they have they didn't have um, a Kungwin Coffee Village. Let me show you. Let me show for you guys. Wait for a minute. Kungwin. Copy. Yes, this this with this the Jungwe village coffee village, and the coffee in this place is so is so delicious and so popular. <clears throat> and uh, it also have this coffee village in the one hundred and and fifty three Lihato Street. Tân Lợi District and in the Bumha City uh, is and it it has divided to many many quarters up. and in these quarters it have uh, it have a coffee growing area. After you visit this place, you will know how to make a coffee bean to become a signature coffee of Central Highland. It also have a bookshop, and and they will give you books. And you, and after you visit this place, you should you should drink a cup of creamy coffee before you leave, and it will make this will make a paradise inside of your mind. <clears throat> and if you are the coffee lover, or you are uh, you are you like an Australian? Experience the museum is the place you, you won't be ignored when you go to the city. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, uh, it's in the, um, in the street, then like this street, and near the center of the city. This construction place camp in the campus of the project Coffee City. And it's on um, for 45 hectares with the familiar space of the Central Highland. It's built on the architecture of a uh, split town and sandway with many flexible curves in the field with each other, make the, a special con construction and new. With 75,000 down on for one for one visitor, you can take you can take a lot of good pictures. Uh, in, in this museum landmark, when you go inside the museum, you can see it have men spread in many parts. In this place, has a lot of artifacts from the James Burr Coffee Museum has been built has been built twenty years ago. Speaking of museum people, speaking of museum, of museum people will thinking about the quiet and boring place. <coughs> hey, but the coffee for and the realistic open space. If you have visited the World Coffee Museum, you will not be ignored the check-in area, uh, and it will you uh, <coughs> I like the place. Got a floating white umbrella on the corner. And it will make you feel so satisfied. Everyone, do you feel interesting? If you if you say yes, so come with me to discover this place, shall we? Like presentation. 
Very good. Thank you for listening. Very good. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, go ahead and um, unshare your screen, please, so that I can um, go ahead and do that. Teacher Thao Rao, can you tell me how to... Oh, here, I, I'll just do it. Okay. Uh, all right, thanks. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so not only can you go get a cup of coffee, Tom, you can actually go and, uh, and go to the museum and learn how to make it. Is that correct? Yes. And Very. I think that is so interesting. Yeah, but yeah, that is very Because I can't find a picture in, in that museum, so I couldn't, send, couldn't share it for you guys. Very cool. Yeah, I like that. So that is in, that, that would be in, in your city? Yes, that's in my city. Very good, very good. That, that's so cool. I mean, that, that, is, that is what we love about this, is that everybody has different interests. Some people might want to learn how their coffee is made. So you could actually go have some coffee, go see the museum, see how it's done, see how they make your coffee. Um, and it's almost like, almost like an experience. Instead of just getting coffee, you get an experience as well. Um, so that is, that's great. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, that's what I love about this, guys. That's what I love about people presenting stuff because everybody has different interests and different things that they want to uh, show. And I really, really like that. Uh, was there anybody else that wanted to do a little presentation today? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Toto, is there anybody else that wanted to do something today? Actually, I, I, I think that Lam Lam have resistor. So, hi, Lam Lam. Hello, everyone. Yeah, actually, we can hear you, but the voice is too loud. Uh, too, too, too low. So, can yeah. you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? But just barely. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. It's very, it's very quiet. Is this Lamb Lamb? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, I don't know how. Wait. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, Lambs, if you could, if you could speak a little bit louder or if you could turn up the volume, oh. um, that would be helpful. We can just barely hear you. Yeah, are you, are you earphone? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think we can, can hear, you hear you now. Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. <clears throat> you you wanted to present something today? Yeah, I want to okay. present something today. Okay, good. I'm um, adding you to the uh, co-host. Uh, yeah. You should be able to share your screen. So whenever you want to present, just make sure try to try to speak a little bit louder so that that we can hear you. Yes, I do do that. Go ahead whenever you want. Uh, Lanams, if you want, did you, did you hear what I said? You can go ahead. Yeah. Can I sign up? Yeah, so go ahead can I you can present. Can I say? Can I say something else? Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I can't say. I don't know why. Can you make your comment? Yeah, you are the co-host now. Yeah, Thank you, you are the, Lambs, you're the co-host, so you can share you can share your screen. Oh, I don't know why so what I can share now going a minute. Oh, I can. Okay. 
If you want, you can turn your video on as well. Yeah, I, I don't know why, so why I can't share now. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe here. I can. Is it so not I'm for you? I don't know why. What? Okay, I got it. If you look, if you look at the bottom of your. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. It's coming up. We can see that you're sharing something, but we, oh, yep, there we go. Excellent. All right, go ahead. Okay. Wait a minute. Hello? Hello? Can you see? Can you see? Yeah. Uh, yep, now we can Hello. see it. Yeah. Welcome to my city, city in Yesterday, I would like to introduce you some places uh, to more popular and like a big lady in my city. Let it be in my city, you look. Yeah. Yeah. So, but when you come here, I will talk to you. The waterfall, the big waterfall. Can you see? Yeah, you look. And yes, as you look at you here and this, this here, and mm -hmm. if you the first time to come here, you will surely be surprised to ask the marvelous beauty of the legendary waterfall. Yeah, you see. And the Water from above is over 19 meters down, raising a beautiful scenery. And, and as you know, in the rainy season, the water is dropping, raised by the first one. Yeah. Uh, lam lamb lambs, I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody else, but I can I can't quite understand really what you're saying. Is is Toto? Is it is it sounding weird on your your end too? Yeah, actually, yeah, sure. I think the, the internet have some problem. Yeah. I'm, Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, Lam, it, it, it's just very, uh, almost sounds robotic, and you can barely understand what, what you're saying. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe try uh, unplugging your headphones and maybe just using your computer. Oh, okay, okay. Again, can you hear me? Yeah, it just sounds really, really warbled. Like it's very hard to understand you. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, we can hear, but the sound is not really clear. Oh, not clear. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, the connection is not oh, really well. Maybe, so, maybe, you hear me. Oh, maybe my earphone dropped. And can I take again? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, I you can. can. Yeah, I, I can hear you. It just is not very clear. Like, I can't quite. Oh, I don't know. Maybe John is. Hello, again. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I'm saying I can hear you, but it's just not very clear. Oh, can well, we can I is there a way to maybe go to a different place where it might be a little bit, the signal might be a little bit better? Hello, hello? Hi. It's the same. Hello? That sounds a little bit better. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, that no. sounds a little bit better. I don't think it's better. No? Yeah, it's the same before. Better now? 
I think it has a little bit of problem in her presentation, but I think yeah. he will fix it soon. Yeah, I just, I just think okay, it's, I, I just think it's, uh, okay, Lam, Lam, try talking again. Okay, I talk. Okay, I, I, that sounds better to me. <clears throat> okay, let's try it. Go ahead. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And I should say that, as you know, and you should you see this is uh, the big water bowl in my country. Oof. And no, it's, it's, the no, it's, 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 it's not. It's not <laughs> getting, love, it's not better. Yeah. Can you Hi, uh, no. We can hear, but the sound is not clear. So I think, oh, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe, uh, Lambs, what we'll do is we'll let's let's wait until next week and yeah. try this again and see if your connection is better next week. Okay, because for for some reason it's just not coming in clear. I thought it might have been, but I don't think it. I speak very loudly. Yeah. So so Lam. Let's let's try this next week. Yeah. And see if your connection works better next week. Okay. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe um, just just a just a bad connection for the day. But Lamb, next week, uh, I will have you will have you present. Uh, is there anybody else that that wanted to um, present today? Uh, also, is uh, I know last week I had said that I wanted to hear if anybody thought of some different times that uh, would be better to do another class. I would like to do another class like in the evenings. Um, probably, you know, like nine, nine thirty PM my time, um, which would be, I think like eight thirty Vietnam time, uh, in the morning. Uh, if, if you, if anybody has any suggestions for that, that would be, that would be awesome. Um, and if you want, you can put those in, you can put those comments in the, uh, web talk post. Yeah, um, teacher Andy, can you make the post and then we can agree or disagree or sometimes some opinion about this? Because sure. we don't know how can we give the opinion in a way. Okay. Yeah, I'll just make a, a post specific for that. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so Toto, uh, I haven't talked to you in a while. What are some things that are going on with you? I know that you have uh, started doing some uh, music posts to get people kind of um, connected that, that like, like music. I think that's great. I think that's a great idea. You're starting to, you know, say, okay, I have a group that I'm with. That's the IEG group. I have a group that I'm with. It's a travel group. Now I want a music group. I think that's incredible. Um, I think everybody should be doing that, like thinking of different groups. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing with that and see if people might be interested in, uh, you know, um, starting to put their comments and and adding their information. Yeah, Sorry, actually, I can, uh, can I ask you a question? I have yes. seen the post on Web Talk. Uh, you say that the thirty day music. I don't know about that. Can you explain it for me? That's what she's gonna do right now. Yeah, actually, it's a challenge about the songs that you like in your life and then you know every day we have a challenge that we will post the uh, the song and then it's in both with the um just requirement about the days and then um if you want to join in my challenge so you can join yeah okay. it, yeah actually i i feel like that's um when i have that group and then everyone they um, just make the post and then share about their song so I will uh, know about a lot of song in all, 
o over the world that I never heard. Yes, because only if only me I find out the song. Actually, I <laughs> I don't know I don't know much. But be because this uh, this challenge will involve with the song that the people they really really like. So I'm sure that um, all of the song that in this challenge is the great song. That's uh, like like a kind of the competition or something. Um, not really, it's just only the challenge that um, if you want to join and then because we, I want to have the 30, um, 30 days and then we can have a 30 song involved with my challenge and then uh, we just only challenge this song and you know because uh, this challenge had a requirement so we need to thinking about the song that we like and then involve with, um, yes with the title you mean that uh, you would you would choose the best song of the day and you will add it to your to your uh, 30 day music and uh, no, no no not not just only the the best song the song you like the, your favorite song but it's had a you know, day one and then day two is really different. And then, for example, day one is um, you need to post the song that you like, and then in the title had the color. So you need to find out the song that you like, and then in the title have the color. And so I post the song, and then the, the title is blue. And then another one, they post the song, the title is red. And then the second day, we need to post the song that um, we had the number on the title. So yes, like this. Oh, you mean that, that I will send the send my favorite song with the lyrics of that song in some color that I like, like blue, red, or purple? Um, wait, uh, I, I, I... Tom, what it is is... is what she's doing is one day she says, okay, <clears throat> I want you to post any song that just in the title has the, a word that is a color. So everybody sends in a song and the title has to have a color. So um, if I was uh, going to post a song, there's the song Blue. Um, that would be my, my title for the day. Uh, and then, and then the next day in the title of the song, it may be a state or a country or something like that. So people are just finding music that they know that has these different things in it. And if you look on, uh, Toto's, uh, newsfeed, she has the little, it's like a 30 day little calendar and it shows you every kind of song that she's looking for. Okay. I know. Yeah, yeah so okay. it's, just, it's just something fun to do. Uh, it kind of brings people together that like music. Uh, it's a great example of what we've been trying to say is that people should start, you know, developing these groups so that, you know, when the app comes out, you are kind of the, you know, the leader of a, of a group and people will start joining your group. Yeah, here. So uh, a song you like with the color in the title, something like with the number in the title. So, um, If I was to do number three, a song that reminds me of summertime, I would, I would do the song "Summertime" by Will Smith. It says the exact, it says the exact word "summertime," but Will Smith sings uh, his summertime song. Um, but it doesn't have to have summertime, and it just reminds you of summertime. Yeah, actually, yeah, in the summer, and then you have this, some some song that you usually uh, hear and you usually listen in the summer. So you just put this song. Actually, this challenge will help you remember um, the song in your life that you uh, have uh, listened. Mhm. Mm Very good. So for those of you who are listening, yes, this is a travel group. This is the travel group. This is the, you know, we do talk about travel, but um, I like to talk about everything because I think that when we travel, everybody has different likes and things that they like to do. Some people want to do certain things. Some people don't. 
Um, you know, maybe as Toto grows her group of people who are, are like music, maybe they start saying, you know what, let's all meet and go to a concert. Still the same idea. You need to, you need to travel to get to some place to meet. Um, but maybe you all want to go to the same concert. So what do you do? You start supporting each other and then they can go and do their experience. Not everybody has to do the same thing. Not everybody will do the same thing. Uh, multiple people will do multiple things on a trip. Multiple people. Some people will want to stay with other you know, members of the IEG group. Some people might want to stay in a hotel. Some people might want to stay in an Airbnb. It doesn't matter. We don't have to all do the same thing. And that's what's so wonderful about this. So, uh, Toto, that's a great idea. I, I, I wanted to, um, you know, kind of mention that today because, as you know, guys, <clears throat> from the post, it looks like the app might not come out until July, which is, you know, uh, one month later than what it was supposed to in June. So that's not really a, a big deal. Um, but it's looking like, <clears throat> excuse me, it's looking like um, that the app probably will come out more like in June than, or in July than June, which is perfectly fine, not a problem. But what Toto is doing is she's building groups already. And that's what everyone should be doing. They should be thinking about what am I interested in? What are the things that I want to do? Because guess what? There's probably all kinds of other people that are in web talk right now that want to do the same thing as you. Uh, so, so you will start, you know, connecting with those different groups. That being said, I think we're going to finish up today. What's great about this is that it kind of segues into the, um, the last video I want to, to show you. This is a friend of mine who has a, a company, um, a CBD company in, uh, in California. So let's say you go and you want to go to visit California and there's, and there's you know, a group of you that want to go visit this particular company. That's great. Not everyone wants to do that, but that's fine. People need to start connecting and understanding um, who, they, who they would like to travel with and who they would like to do certain things with, uh, you know, that are, that are related to travel or, or more. So if anybody, does anybody else have anything else they would like to say before we watch this last video and end this meeting? Uh, most of you are just listening, which is fine. I, I, uh, that is perfectly fine if you want to listen. Lamb Lambs, we, uh, Lambs Lambs, we're going to uh, try to get your presentation done next week, uh, next Thursday. So hopefully the internet is, is working for you next week because, you know, just from the first couple pictures, I, will, I definitely want to see what you have to, have to uh, present to us. So I'm going to show you one more video um, about Fox Medicine. And then uh, we will end this meeting for today. And what I'll do is I'll, I'm, I'm this recording. So uh, once it's downloaded, I will post this onto WebTalk. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Here's another company that is part of IEG. If you have any interest in this or want to connect and talk to Scarlett, she is uh, in uh, Web Talk. It's Scarlett Raven, and uh, you can go and check her out. I have actually uh, tagged her in this uh, Web Talk post, so you can look at this Web Talk post and connect with her if you would like to do that. So here we go. This is about three minutes long, not, not quite as long as the other one, but another uh, little advertisement from another company that is part of WebTalk and, and going to be partly supporting, uh, you know, um, IEG travel through their interaction points and, and things that go on. So make sure to connect with Scarlett. <laughs> Oh,
Oh, DJ Andy, you forgot to unmute yourself. Thanks. <laughs> so this is a this is just another company that is part of uh, IEG Network and part of Web Talk. Uh, we've seen three major companies and their videos in the past two weeks. Um, this is what's exciting, guys. These companies are joining people that are in the network in the IEG network. And if you don't think that they're not going to help support us in our travels, they are just their interaction, just their, their work is going to start generating revenue. And so when we go to different places in the world, we can support these companies. And, I, and like I said, not everybody is going to support every single company. Not everybody wants to, you know, drink coffee. Like, uh, you know, Tom, Tom was showing us a coffee shop. Not everybody wants to drink coffee. That's fine. Certain people do. And so as we plan trips, you can start thinking of different things that you want to do. And guys, this is for you as well to start thinking about what kind of companies can you talk to to get involved in web talk? Because as you get companies involved in web talk, you do get commissions based on what they are selling within the web talk platform this is a way for you to earn money by getting different uh you know different companies involved so so make sure that you're doing that make sure that you're you know thinking about the different people and, and different businesses that you can get involved in web talk because very soon this is going to be something that is going to be uh you know many 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 companies are going to be involved with us which is amazing so um, with that being said uh, I'm gonna end this meeting today uh, I will make a post for uh, everybody to put in times and kind of see what what time would be good in the uh, I guess for me it would be evening time uh, I want to add another uh, class hopefully by next week I'll add another class uh, so that hopefully more people can you know find a better time to to you know come in and interact and we can get more information um, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for showing up and, uh, thank you, uh, Tom for presenting lambs lambs. I want to see your presentation. So be here next week so that we can uh, get that presentation and anybody else that sees this video. If you have something that you want to present that you want to show about a place that you want to visit a place that you have visited, um, please, um, you know, write in the comments or say that you want to present and we will let you, you know, definitely let you present. 
um, I'm going to start presenting as well um, some of the places that I've been. All right. So thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for joining. And uh, we will, I will talk to you guys next week. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.